Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to add an interface so that we can add and delete a photo. But what we get back from Cloudinary is an upload result. And inside that upload result we get back from Cloudinary contains a public ID and the URL of the image that we've sent to Cloudinary. Now, because we added Cloudinary to our infrastructure project, then our application is not going to have access to the class of upload results we get from Cloudinary. So what we're going to need to do is make our own class inside our application project. We'll create a new folder and we'll call it Photos. And inside here we're going to create a new c -sharp class called Photo Upload Result. And in here we're just going to get two of the properties that we get back from Cloudinary's Upload Result class. And one of them is the public ID. So we'll add a string for that and one of them is the URL of our image. And in our interfaces we'll create a new c -sharp interface and we'll call this iPhoto Accessor. And what we'll do inside here is we're going to create two methods and they're both going to be asynchronous so we're going to return a task of the photo upload result that we've just created and we'll call it add photo and what will take as a parameter is an iform file and we'll call it file and let's just bring in what we need from this. So we need system threading tasks, we need our photo upload result we've just created and what we also need is the Microsoft ASP.NET Core HTTP and if we hover over the iform file then this represents a file sent with the HTTP request. And this comes with all of the properties that you would associate with a file, such as the size, the name, etc. So, now that we have that, we'll add another task, and this one's just going to be of type string. And we're going to say delete photo, and we'll pass through the string of the public ID, which is what we need to use when deleting a photo from Cloudinary. So these two methods are not going to touch our database at all, they're purely for using or purely for uploading and deleting images from Cloudinary, have nothing to do whatsoever with our database. And then what we'll do inside our infrastructure project, inside the photos folder, we'll create another new class and we'll call it photo accessor and this is going to implements the iPhoto Accessor interface. So we'll add that as well and then we'll say using application interfaces and then we'll implement the interface. So we'll come back and populate the code inside these methods shortly but first of all we'll go to our application service extensions and we'll add another service and say services add scoped and we'll pass in our photo accessor and our photo accessor. And what we'll take a look at next is configuring the implementation of what we need to do to get our photos up to Cloudinary.